I had always been a night owl, and my love for working out was no exception. So when my local gym announced they were extending their hours to accommodate late-night fitness enthusiasts like myself, I was thrilled. I couldn't wait to try it out and see what it was like to have the entire gym to myself. It was a Friday night, and I had just finished my shift at the office. I quickly changed into my workout attire and made my way to the gym. As I stepped inside, the atmosphere was different. The lights were dim, the music was off, and the only sound was the faint humming of the treadmills. I smiled to myself, feeling a sense of excitement at the thought of having the gym all to myself. I started my workout with some stretches and then headed over to the weightlifting section. As I was doing some bicep curls, I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was being washed. I turned my head in all directions, but there was no one else in the gym. I brushed it off as my imagination and continued with my workout. As I moved on to the squat rack, I noticed something odd. The mirrors that lined the walls were slightly foggy, almost as if someone had been breathing on them. But again, I shrugged it off, thinking it was just the gym's air conditioning acting up. I finished my workout and decided to cool down with some laps in the pool. As I entered the pool area, I suddenly felt a chill run down my spine. The usually warm and inviting pool seemed to have turned into a freezing abyss, but I ignored it, thinking it was just the temperature setting. I swam a few laps before deciding to call it a night. As I got out of the pool, I looked around and saw something that made my blood run cold. The pool was now filled with dark, murky water, and at the bottom, I could make out a faint figure. It was wearing a gym uniform, and from the looks of it, it seemed like a woman. I quickly got dressed and decided to check the pool again. But when I stepped inside, everything was back to normal. The water was warm, crystal clear, and there was no figure at the bottom. I shook my head, thinking I was losing my mind, and headed towards the locker room to shower. As I was taking a hot shower, I heard a noise coming from one of the stalls. It sounded like someone was in there, but I was the only one in the gym. I turned off my shower and listened closely, but the noise had stopped. I shrugged it off, assuming it was just the pipes and continued with my shower. Feeling a bit unnerved, I decided to quit my workout and leave, but the door to the locker room wouldn't budge. I pulled and pulled, but it seemed to be stuck. Panic started to set in as I realized I was trapped. I started banging on the door, hoping someone would hear me, but the gym was empty. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the lights went out. I was plunged into complete darkness, and the only light source was the moon peeking through the windows. I felt like I was in some kind of horror movie. I closed my eyes, trying to calm myself down and think of a way out. I remembered seeing a small window in the locker room that led to the gym's emergency exit. It was my only shot at escaping but it was high up and too small for me to climb through. But I had to try. I stacked up some benches and managed to reach the window. I squeezed my way through, feeling like I was being watched the whole time. As I stepped out into the gym, I saw that everything was back to normal. The lights were on, the music was playing, and there was no sign of the strange occurrences I had experienced. I quickly gathered my things and left, feeling a sense of relief wash over me. The following day, I decided to talk to the gym's manager about my experience. He looked at me with a strange expression and told me that the gym had been closed for renovations over the weekend. No one had been allowed inside, and there was no way I could have been there. Confused and scared, I decided to never visit the gym at night again. The thought of being trapped in a dark, empty gym with unknown forces taunting me was enough to make me give up my late-night workouts. But to this day, I can't shake off the feeling that something was trying to reach out to me that night in the gym. I can only hope that it was just my imagination, and that I was never truly in danger. So, Odd, let me tell you about this one time at the gym that went from just a regular workout to a full-on horror show. It was a late night in Texas, 
and I figured I'd hit up the local gym to get my pump on. You know, burn off some steam after a long day. Little did I know, that night was gonna turn into something straight out of a nightmare. As I walked into the gym, the place was deserted, which wasn't all that unusual for that time of night. The lights were kinda dim, casting these eerie shadows on the equipment. But hey, I wasn't about to let a little spookiness stop me from getting my swole on. I started my workout, banging out reps and zoning out to my music. Everything seemed cool at first, just me and the weights. But then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw something move. I shrugged it off, thinking maybe it was just my imagination playing tricks on me in the dim light. But then I saw it again, this shadowy figure lurking in the corner of the gym. My heart started racing, and I could feel this chill creeping up my spine. I tried to brush it off, telling myself I was just being paranoid. But deep down, I knew something wasn't right. I kept glancing over at the shadow, trying to convince myself it was nothing. But every time I looked, it seemed to be getting closer, inching its way towards me. Panic started to set in, and I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing on end. I decided to cut my workout short and get the hell out of there. But as I turned to leave, I saw something that made my blood run cold. There, lying on the floor, was a woman. She was covered in blood, her eyes wide open in terror. I stumbled back, my mind reeling as I tried to process what I was seeing. I could feel the bile rising in my throat as I realized that something horrible had happened. I wanted to run, to get as far away from that gym as possible. But I knew I had to do something. I called 911 my hand shaking as I tried to explain what I'd found. The operator told me to stay calm and wait for the police to arrive. But as I stood there, staring at the lifeless body on the floor, I couldn't help but feel like I was being washed. When the police finally showed up, they swarmed the gym, asking me a million questions. I told them everything I knew about the shadowy figure and the woman's body. They seemed skeptical at first, like they didn't believe me. But then they found the security footage, and that's when everything changed. The video showed the woman walking into the gym, just like I had. But then, out to nowhere, this guy appears, stalking her from the shadows. They watched in horror as he attacked her, dragging her to the ground and stabbing her over and over again. It was like something out of a slasher flick, only it was happening right there in front of us. Turns out, the guy was high out of his mind on drugs, completely out of his head. He'd been lurking in the gym, waiting for someone to come in so he could satisfy his twisted urges. And that poor woman, she just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. As the truth sank in, I felt sick to my stomach. That gym, once a place of comfort and solace, had become a living nightmare. And that woman, she paid the ultimate price for it. I never went back to that gym after that night. The memories were just too much to bear. But sometimes, late at night when I can't sleep, I can still hear her screams echoing in my mind. And I can't help but wonder, what if it had been me in her shoes? It was a typical night for me. After a long day at work, I decided to hit the gym to get my workout in before the weekend. As I drove to the gym, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement. I loved working out at night when the gym was less crowded and I could really focus on my routine. After parking my car, I made my way inside the gym. The lobby was dark and quiet, with only a couple of employees cleaning up the equipment. I scanned my membership card at the front desk and headed towards the locker room to change. As I walked into the locker room, I noticed that it was eerily empty. Usually, there would be a few people changing or showering, but tonight there was no one. I shrugged it off, thinking that maybe people had decided to hit the gym earlier today. I changed into my workout clothes and made my way to the weight room. The lights were dimmed but the machines and equipment were still visible. I started my routine, focusing on each set and trying to push myself a little harder than usual. After about half an hour, 
I decided to take a quick break and grab some water. As I walked towards the water fountain, I heard a creaking noise coming from the corner. I turned to look, but there was no one there. I shook my head, trying to convince myself that I was just imagining things. I took a sip of water and headed back to my workout. But as I started my next set, I couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. I looked around, but the weight room was still empty. I decided to brush it off and continue with my routine. But as the night went on, the feeling of being watched only intensified. The creaking noises became more frequent, and I could swear I saw shadows moving out of the corner of my eye. I started to feel uneasy and decided to switch to the treadmills to finish off my workout. But as I ran on the treadmill, I couldn't shake off the feeling that someone was right behind me. I turned around, but there was no one there. I started running faster, trying to outrun the feeling. But then, I heard a whisper right next to my ear. You shouldn't have come here, the voice said. My heart started racing, and I got off the treadmill, ready to leave. But as I made my way towards the exit, the light suddenly went off. I froze, trying to adjust my eyes to the darkness. That's when I saw it, a figure standing in the corner, watching me. I screamed and ran towards the exit, fumbling with my keys to unlock my car. As I drove away from the gym, my mind was racing with thoughts. Who was that figure? Why was the gym so empty? And most importantly, what had I just experienced? I couldn't sleep that night, tossing and turning as my mind replayed the events over and over again. The next morning, I decided to go back to the gym to see if I could find any answers. When I arrived, the lobby was filled with people and the gym was bustling with activity. I walked up to the front desk and asked about the previous night. The employee gave me a puzzled look and told me that there was no one else in the gym besides me. I insisted that I had seen and heard things, but the employee just shrugged it off and told me it was probably just my imagination. I left the gym feeling confused and unsettled. Was it all just my imagination? But then, as I was driving home, I saw something that made my blood run cold. There was a news report on TV about a man who had been killed at the gym the previous night. The report showed a picture of the man, and it was the same figure I had seen in the weight room. I never went to the gym at night again. The experience had scared me so much that I couldn't even go during the day. I couldn't help but wonder if I had encountered a ghost that night or if there was something more sinister going on at that gym. But one thing was for sure. I would never forget the late night workout at the gym horror story.